Catchweight action continues as Mexico's Jesus Aguilar battles to Larry's Anthony Castorone. Representing One Kicks Gym 559, Anthony Castorone looks to impress when he hunts for a second professional victory. A Muay Thai practitioner, Castorone is not only looking for a win, he wants to end the bout with a highlight reel stoppage. Ready to challenge him is Mexico's Jesus Aguilar. Fighting for the second time tonight as a professional, Aguilar looks to show that he has all the tools necessary to dispatch anyone in his way. Coming up next, it's Anthony Castorone, battling lover boy, Jesus Aguilar. Interesting fight coming up now as Pretty Boy Anthony Castorone takes on Lover Boy Jesus Aguilar. Looking at Anthony Castorone, he makes the walk tonight. This is his second pro bout. He trains uh, with One Kicks Gym 559. One Kick Nick, a uh, legendary trainer, a little bit in the mixed martial arts space, in the Muay Thai space. He's got an uh, affiliate out here in the Central Valley. And uh, Anthony Castorone looks to use some of that tutelage that he's picked up from that uh, system and uh, displayed here at the Contra Balance 5 game. Yeah, you know, Anthony, I've had the pleasure of training with him in the past. And he comes, he's actually from Las Vegas, uh, and he comes from that real traditional Muay Thai style. Uh, he's had fights for lion fights. He's got an extensive career as a Thai fighter, and he still kind of mixes in his MMA with his Thai fights. He's had Thai fights. That his first MMA fight was for RFA last year. Uh, very, very good Muay Thai fighter. He's very traditional in his approach to striking uh, because of where he comes from, like you mentioned, at one kick. Uh, yeah, he, you know, it's going to be interesting because the big question for him is now, this is a, this is a Muay Thai, you know, this is a, a MMA fight. He's a very athletic kid, and you know, but his his experience in it with wrestling and grappling and even the small gloves, just there's a difference there too. Uh, isn't very much. So I don't know what his opponent necessarily brings or doesn't bring to the table, but I think we're going to definitely possibly answer some questions tonight about Castro. Casserone talked about his desire to go places in this sport, but he wants to be entertaining in doing so. He knows that the fans pay good money to come out and, and watch him fight, and he wants to put on a show, and he believes that his striking approach to mixed martial arts should lend itself for knockout of the night like victories. Oh, yeah, he'll throw elbows. Uh, I'm talking about real traditional tie elbows from all different angles, back elbows, spinning elbows. Uh, and he, you know, I'm telling you, his Muay Thai, I'm smart with him. Uh, I've used him as a smart partner in the past, and his Muay Thai is legit. He, he kicks a Fighter that, uh, you know, will, 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 he'll be the last one to wilt in a fight. He looks to outwill you if it becomes a gritty scrap. Yeah, that's kind of a, you know, the, the story of a lot of Mexican fighters dating back to the, the boxing days and now through MMA. And, I think something that we're starting to see out of Mexico is really some emergence of mixed martial arts. Uh, I know Aguilar is up here at Dethrone now, but one thing, is, you know, any, anytime you train with somebody from Mexico, usually they have pretty good boxing because they have so much boxing down there. And, uh, yeah, these guys don't seem to give up very often. They always have a lot of heart. Uh, and, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see if he does bring this boxing approach to the cage against the tie fighter. That's, why the, that's what makes this sport so great, you know. Aguilar doesn't speak much English. He's been around the uh, casino and hotel the last couple of days. Big smile on his face. Really happy to be here. You can tell that he really loves fighting. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's just having a blast here in his TPF debut. Yeah, this is a big opportunity. I mean, he's got two pro fights, you know, and to be fighting to come from Mexico and land a deep throne, a, a top-notch gym, and then be fighting here on Sure Dog at Tachi Palace uh, all in a relatively short amount of time for him. Uh, definitely I could see why he had a big smile on his face. Big opportunity for him to make a name for himself here in the Central Valley of California. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for our second bout of the evening, a catchweight contest. Both men weighed in at 130 pounds. Pretty Boy has a four-inch reach advantage and is five years the elder of Jesus Aguilar. For our official introductions, here's Tyson Johnson. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This fighter stands five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at 130 pounds. He represents One Kicks Gym and CBCA with an undefeated record of one win and zero defeats. He hails from Tulare, California. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the pretty boy, Anthony Castreja. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner stands five feet, five inches tall. He weighed in at 130 pounds. He represents Team Dethrone. 
with a mixed martial arts record of one win and zero defeats. He hails from the nation of Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jesus Vargas Aguilar. Your referee from this battle will be Jason McCoy. Catchweight contest at 130 pounds. Jason McCoy getting this assignment. Appreciate you joining us here on SureDog.com. Tachi Palace Fights 30. As we kick off the new year. Tachi Gloves, we are underway. Casarone starts southpaw. Kick to the body of Aguilar who fires forward. Great upright stance from Aguilar. Hands high, but upright. Correct. You can already see Castro on those kicks. Uh, very, very fast. Nice, nice outside leg kick there from Aguilar. Caught that one. Hit, hit it to the body, but it caught it. Now he hits the takedown. Nice single leg there by Aguilar. Half butterfly here for Castro. Home. And this is what's going to be interesting because we don't know what kind of necessarily what kind of game Aguilar brings to the map. Nice takedown there off the kick. Uh, but we definitely know Castro, you know, in the short amount of time he's been training mixed martial arts. How, how far has he come? I know he's been working with Joe Soto a little bit. Uh, so we're going to see if he's made some improvements in that game. Aguilar making the most of his takedown. Castro able to get to his base for a headlock position now here for Aguilar. Good job by Castro to get back to his feet. His knee on the break. Another body shot caught there by Aguilar. Big pickup, and now it's Aguilar who's on his on the bottom for a brief moment. Nice readjustment here. Casarone's got that right leg isolated now. Adjustment. Aguilar hooks able to in. get the back, hooks in. And I think, yeah, you know, if I'm Casarone in the corner, I'm saying maybe he landed that body kick because two times now he's ended up on the bottom because of it. Maybe go to the legs or go higher or just, you know, maybe use hands more because uh, this has been two times now he's been in this position. Now, Giving up his back, he's actually doing what he needs to be doing. This is, if I, if someone gets my back, this is where I'm going right away. I'm going to put, put my weight on them. Uh, you know, this is a much safer position to be in. You got to wait your, your, your opportunities, fight for hand control, and eventually try to, you know, shrimp your, your butt to the mat and hips, or sorry, shoulders to the mat to get out of this position. Two minutes into this one, a lot of time for Aguilar to try to sink in something, but. Uh, not a lot going on here. Looked like Casarone is actually saying something to the ref. I don't know if he's fishing for a stand up here, but now he goes again, belly down, now rolling through. When he rolls through, is he trying to make an adjustment to where he can end up in Aguilar's guard? Well, it looks this is the position he wants to be in. I don't know what I don't know if he knows what, what to do next. Uh, he needs to get his shoulders to the mat, start shrimping out and moving his hips and then getting his shoulders to the mat is what you want to do in this position. Obviously, you have to defend the choke. You have to defend hand control and have hand control. He's doing that, uh, but he doesn't seem to know that next step. But now, Aguilar able to swim that right hand in across the face now of Casterhone. We'll see if he can go palm to palm here or get something. But Casterhone playing a defensive game and surviving for the most part. He's been here in this position now for about a minute. Yeah, he's got he's to keep start rotating his, his feet and then getting his shoulders to the mat. That's what he needs to do. He's doing a good job of defending the choke so far, but you can't just stay here. You, you know, you're going to lose a round if you stay here. There he goes. Trying to make the adjustment. Aguilar hanging Pick tough, rides knees. through. Now it looks like that choke is under the chin. Castro in a lot of trouble. It is done. Jesus Aguilar by rear naked choke. Wow. Nicely done by the Mexican. Yeah, I think it just, you know, even though you start training mixed martial arts, it takes a lot of time to develop jiu-jitsu skills, wrestling skills. They don't come overnight, you know. And, uh, I think what we saw here tonight is an inexperienced MMA fighter, no matter how experienced of a Thai fighter he is, fighting a guy who's got some real experience as a fighter in mixed martial arts, uh, and just, you know, able to capitalize on the situation. Uh, here, we, here we see it here. You can see He's, once you're in this position and you've locked in here, uh, Castro's already in trouble. He's got to fight that hand. He tries to do the right thing and fight the hand, but it's a little bit too late, and he's forced to tap out. Uh, just shows the inexperience he has in the mixed martial arts jiu-jitsu jiu jiu world. Uh, but if he keeps training it, he, it will come. He's got the athleticism, definitely the striking prowess to do it. Uh, but tonight, it's all about Aguilar coming down here you know, from Mexico. doesn't even speak English, and here he is not only training at dethrone, but you know, making that smile even bigger, I think, you know? 
At 20 years old, Jesus Aguilar picks up a big win in his MMA journey and gets a stoppage in the first round. To make it official, here's Tyson. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 16 seconds into round number one, your winner, by William tap out, Jesus Vargas Aguilar. Jesus Aguilar getting it done. Rear naked choke stoppage. Nicely done by, by him. He got the back, and more importantly, Cody, he, he stuck with it. He had to get past the defense from Castro Hone. Um, who, who played a tough game trying to hold the, the hands, but uh, he stuck with it and, and got the choke. Yeah, and sometimes patience is that's what, really all about what jiu-jitsu is about, uh, being patient, kept that position. Every time that uh, Castron would turn, give up his uh, you know, his back again, uh, he would just follow him, you know, just follow him with his hips, and then uh, eventually, you know, if you're patient enough, good things are going to happen, and that's the case tonight with Aguilar. Jesus Vargas Aguilar making short work. Of Casarón here in his TPF debut. Can't wait to see what is next for this young man inside the Tachi Palace Fights cage. Take a look at the recap here. It, it was an interesting fight. We didn't know a lot about Aguilar. We knew about the striking ability of Casarón, but it didn't matter. Yeah, and it was actually that striking ability that got him in trouble. Throwing those big kicks to the body, even though they were landing him, he kept getting taken down. The first time he was able to get him back to his feet, the second time, as you can see from the replay, uh, not as successful in doing that. Jesus Aguilar, victorious here in Lemoore. Up next, it is heavyweight action.